Today we are going to learn about the forest and the wildlife of India. We all know that India has been a land of great forests. Nearly 67,000 hectares of Indian land has been covered with forest which has been the houses for variety of species. The biodiversity has been a significant feature of the Indian forests. Indian forests holds various varieties of mammals, flora and fauna which are found in the world. According to the statistics, we have 81,000 of fauna, 47,000 of flora. In that again, 47,000 of plants, we have 15,000 plants which are explicitly in the category of flowering spaces. So this variety of biodiversity is found only in India where 10% of the wild flora and 20% of the mammals are in danger. In India, we have various forest reserves prior to the rule of the Britishers. After the Britishers have entered, they have categorized the forest into different different categories like reserved forest, unreserved forest, protected forest. After the categorization happened, that resulted in the endangering of the forest. People are also closely associated with the forests. Some of the tribal communities feel that that forest is their motherland. They get everything from the forest. There are various moments also happen against the uh, removal of tribal communities rights from the forest lands. So in this unit we shall discuss what is the forest importance in our country, how the species are getting endangered, threat for the biodiversity in our country, how are the categorization of the species happened and then different kinds of forests and what are the steps taken to preserve the special animals. So being a land of great biodiversity from the past to the present India had various varieties of mammals, various varieties of plants, various varieties of insects, various varieties of plants in that also medicinal plants, non-medicinal plants, flowering plants all these have brought in the different varieties and made India the land of biodiversity. But today we have the entire category of plants and animals falling in the different categories. Let's find out what are the different categories. Now, let us look at the alarming rates of the forest growth. We, as per the Indian norms of statistics, we have in India 78.29 million hectares, which is a very large according to our calculation. 78 million hectares is very large. but India's area is 32 million hectares out of that one third which means nearly 10 percent means 10 million hectares Indian forest should be there that is according to the national forest policy of India 1952 33 percent of the land holdings of any country should be covered with forest then only the ecological balance will be maintained. But according to the statistics available for us, we have only 78.29, which is not appropriate. We need to have 33%, but in the Indian total area, we have only 23.81%. And coming according to the state forest policies, according to their calculations, in 1997, every year, we are getting added of 10,098 square kilometers of land. See, when the state forest is taking the calculations of adding on the areas which are getting forestized or we are getting afforestation but actually they are not able to bifurcate between the plantation and the afforestation afforestation is a place where you have to grow a forest not a particular special plant you cannot grow a teak plant on a large area and say this is a forest because it kills the biodiversity so the actual fact is the state forests are taking into consensus all the land which was brought into afforestation but not in regards to only forest. So this number may not be actually true but it indicates that the land area which brought into under cultivation is increasing. That's what we cannot justify that we have sufficient amount of forest lands so it would be right to say that forests are vanishing day by day in our country. They are getting erased from the maps of India. That is a very alarming state. 
so once the forests are getting vanished or erased from the maps of india the fundamental question comes is what about the animals or the species that are survived in the forest when the forest was full fledgedly present there once the forest is getting erased what is actually happening to that species so basing on the calculation and the statistics of international union for conservation of nature and natural resources we have an international body to look after all these things its name is international union for conservation of nature and natural resources it's in short form known as iucn the iucn stands for international union for conservation of nature and natural resources they have categorized the entire flora or fauna into different categories they are broadly categorized into six different types first one is the normal species the normal species state that the amount of the animal species available are equal to the normal levels those are normal species the examples of the normal species are cattle sal pine the second category is endangered the endangered category stands for the animals which are in the danger of extinct from the normal level they have fall down to a situation where there will be a danger that these animals will not be appeared for us the examples of those animals are rhino and lion the third category is vulnerable which have declined to the levels earlier they were normal they were under the category of extinct there was a danger for them now the number has been rapidly gone down and today they are in a state of vulnerable which means they are in a state of very soon to disappear so that is blue sheep gangetic dolphins and then the fourth category is the rare species these rare species are found in small small populations they are not at all found in large numbers to normal levels they are found in very few 5 10 15 50 100 100 like that. so these animals are wild asiatic buffalo is an example of rare species and moving on to endemic endemic means only in a particular place only in a particular spot you find that animal that animal are examples nicobar pigeon and wild pigs